All right, guys, let's rock and roll quick, all right? Let's find out where we are with the Magic Fly Egg Candler, the Magic Fly Mini Incubator. We're gonna do it right in here with the lights out. You want it as dark as possible. And oh my, why are you sleeping on my clean, fresh folded towels? I see what's happening in the bathroom. Let's find out if we've got some baby chicks. Hey guys, welcome to Appalachia's Homestead. It's time to candle eggs. I know, you're like, how many videos has she done on candling eggs? Every time I do a video and film a video on candling eggs, I get so many different questions. The thing is, is every time you incubate eggs or you have a broody mama and you have to check her eggs too, Everything is different, so we're going to find out which eggs are fertile versus not and how are they developing. So we have the Magic Fly Incubator set up in the bathroom. And the reason I do this in the bathroom, number one, is I can shut the door and nothing bothers it. It leaves my counter space open for all this holiday cooking that's coming around. And also, when I candle, though, I always bring the eggs in here because we don't have a window. So when we turn off the light... It gets very spooky. So let's get out the sweet little eggs with the magic from the Magic Fly incubator and use the Magic Fly candler. Guys, these are some handy dandy deals. I'm going to put stuff, uh, the links down below for you so you can check them out if you're interested. There's some great sales going on on Amazon right now, particularly on the incubator. I have two of them. They are, uh, let's see, let's go. All right, so I've gone ahead and turned out the light. I'm gonna take the lid right off. And here's what we've got going on here, guys, okay? So they've been turned several times today. Actually, this, is, this will be their third turn. So I'm gonna put them back in O side up, X's and O's, right? So let's just start. We're gonna start with the um, olive eggers. See where we're at. Okay, we are about day seven. And you can see right there that we do have, uh, right there, that would be the embryo. And that little dark spot is actually the eye. You can see we do have, right there, the, the actual air sac. And you can even see there's some circulatory action going on right there. Actually, look, moving around, moving around. All right, so let's put this baby right back in. All right, now I'm gonna move quick. I do try to move fast because I tend to jibber jabber. Let's see how we are on this little silky egg. Whoa, silky. All right, this one's actually a little bit more developed. You can see right here, it looks a little bit better. So we'll have to keep an eye on that one. You can see you've got really good development. And again, it's just letting you know, day seven, you're not gonna see as much as you're gonna see, say, day 10. Okay, so really know that this is the first real candling that most people do just to answer the question, is it fertile? Is it fertile myrtle or no? Okay, right here. Hmm, this is the naked neck. I really wanted to see some fertilization going on here. And I'm gonna tell you, I'm not seeing anything. So it looks like this one's probably not fertile. Um, and you can see right here, that would be just a yolk. I'm not seeing anything there. So let's put that one to the side. We're gonna go with this one. This is Buttercup's egg. Oh, what do we have? See right there? Look there. Sure do. Buttercup's a mama. All right, we're gonna put that one back in here. Remember, have to be, oh. Oh, up. All right. Oh. All right. Now we're going to bring this one down. Here, are we getting into the buffs yet? Yep, my little funny faces. Those are my buff babies. Let's see how we are here. Yep, we got an air sac going on here. Looks like we've got a little bit of um, veining going on. There we have some action. See? So we are good with the buffs. Most of my buff eggs from my buff coop tend to do very, very well. Uh, Mr. Paul Newman out there, he typically does a good job. Look here, okay, now this one's really good. Can you see that? 
excellent. Really developing nicely there. You can see the air sac. I know the lighting gets weird, but we have an air sac and we have some veining. If you come back around day 10, day, tw day 10 to day 12, you'll really, really start to see that, okay? Here we go here. Again, this is the first stop to go, do we have anything? Mm, let's see. Well, let's find out. I am not feeling this one. Well, maybe so. So, oh, 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 there we have it. Yep, right there, right in here. Okay, so good. So far, so good, except for my naked neck, and I was really wanting another naked neck. It's hard to find out exactly what, what are their eggs and what are not. Okay, this one right here, not convinced we're seeing much of anything except a yolk. See? It's kind of like a lava lamp. See that? Really well lit. You'll see a little bit of a golden area. That's just the yolk. So I don't think we have fertilization there. All right, we're getting to the end, getting close. Whoa, Nellie, talk to me. Definitely have live action going here. You can even see the little spot there. That would be the eye, a little bit of movement. We've got some a lot of nice veining. Very, very nice. And that is my white egg, so that would be my leghorn mix. All right, awesome. All right, last one. Last baby, we're back around to the olive eggers. And it's a dark egg, so again, what I see might be a little bit more visible to me than what is to you. If I can get on there. Oh no, definitely fertile. Look at there. You can see veining right through there. Definitely have an air sac. Let me put this little doodad on right here so you can see. I don't know why I haven't done that for you already. See, it does a little bit more of an intense job. It's hard for you to see. Let's try it with this one. Let's do it with the white one. It just pinpoints the light a whole lot more with what you're looking for. See what I'm talking about? So we have of the 10 eggs, let's see, I'm trying to get you some light here. Of the 10 eggs, we now have eight being fertile. I like to turn them all the same way if possible. And I just keep um, my water, my little water tank right there as I call it, I keep it full. And if it overflows just a little bit, I don't sweat it. If I need to change out my uh, uh, paper towels or whatever, that's no big deal. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Eight out of 10, we will take it. And it's a good idea for you to always candle your eggs and to view your situation and what's going on. You don't want to keep eggs in there that are not fertile because they can explode and make a mess and cause problems with all of your other eggs. So, the end of day seven, we're trucking lot right on along and we'll keep you posted on how these babies keep developing. We'll see you on the next video and if you have this incubator or this candler, Make a comment below and let everybody know how awesome they are because they really do help you out. Y'all have a great night. We'll talk to you soon.